I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you test questions from previous test papers. Now here is a very important question. We have picked up these questions from IB test paper vectors and in this particular example we'll understand how to find foot of the perpendicular. The question here is Consider the line L1, x equals to 2 plus t, y equals to 3 minus t, z equals to 4 plus t. Find the coordinates of the foot of the perpendicular P from Q minus 2, 8 minus 2 to the line L1. Hence, find the shortest distance from Q to L1. So, there are two parts to this question. In the first part, we need to find foot of perpendicular. So it's kind of like this. Let's say uh, this is one of the lines which we are saying is L1 for us. So this is line L1. We are given some point outside this line. So let's say the point is Q, right, given here. Foot of the perpendicular means shortest distance we can find. So that is the line from Q. So this is external point. And it meets this line at P so that these line and the and the segment QP are at right angles. That's the whole idea. We need to find the coordinates of point P, right? So I hope you understand the question. Now you can pause the video, answer, and then look into my suggestions. So what we're given here is the line L1, which is, uh, uh, let's write down the values and is given in the parametric form, okay, x equals to 2 plus t, y equals to 3 minus t, and z equals to 4 plus t, right? So that basically means that any general point uh, will, on this, can be written in this form, right? So we can say, let p be a point which is like this, and we'll find what t is. Then in that case, what is QP? QP will be, we know what Q is, we are given Q as minus 2, 8, minus 2. So QP will be equals to this general point minus Q coordinates, right? So just 2 plus T minus minus 2, that gives us 2, 3 minus T minus 8, and 4 plus t minus minus 2, right? This is this is QP, right? So it is, um, you can write 4 plus t here, okay? And this is minus 5 minus t, and this is 6 plus t. So that is QP. Now when QP is perpendicular to the line, then dot product of their directions should be 0. So what is the dot product? We'll do that later. Let's find the direction first for the line. So for the line L1, uh, the direction vector is 1 minus 1, 1, correct? So that is the direction vector. Okay, let me separate this out. So we know this information. And to solve this question, what we need to do? Well, we need to figure out the dot product of M and QP, that should be equal to 0. That will help us to find the value of T, right? So let's do the dot product now. M dot QP, that is to say, we have 1 minus 1, 1 dot. Okay, so let me write this in row form. 4 plus T minus 5 minus T, 6 plus T, right? And this is equals to 1 times we get 4 plus t. So 1 times it gives 4 plus t and then minus 1 times, we'll just change the signs, plus 5 plus t, 1 times, just keep it same, 6 plus t, right? And 
well, all this is equal to 0. Let's set 0 equals to all this. Let me simplify this further. So we have 4 plus 5, which is 9 plus 6 is 15, and 1, 2, 3 plus 3D, right? So that gives you the value of T, right? So we have 15. Let me rewrite this. 15 uh, plus 3t equals to 0 or t is equals to minus 15 over 3 or is equals to minus 5, right? So that gives us the value of t as minus 5. Now once we know t is minus 5, we can find the coordinates of point p, right? So, so we have t as equals to minus 5. We'll substitute this value here and find the coordinates of point P, right? So P should be what? So for P, we'll substitute minus five in the equation. So the X coordinate will be two minus five, right? Which is minus three. The Y coordinate will be three minus minus five, and that is eight. And the Z coordinate will be four minus five, that is minus one. So we get the coordinate points for P, which are minus 3, 8, and minus 1, correct? So that is the uh, coordinate point for P, the foot of the perpendicular. So we got one part, which is foot of the perpendicular is, is P, which is minus 3, 8, and minus 1. So now let's do the second part, which is the shortest distance, right? So now we'll do the second part which is the shortest distance. Now we know two points, which are Q and P, and we can find the shortest distance, which is QP, perpendicular distance is always the shortest distance, will be equals to square root of, uh, this is P and that is Q, where did we write? Okay, so let's write down Q here. Uh, minus two, eight and minus two, okay. so. Uh, difference of these two, so we say minus 2 minus 3 square plus 8 minus 8 square plus uh, minus 2 minus minus 1 square, right? So that gives us, so minus 2 plus 3 square is 1, so we get 1 square, 8 plus 8 is 0, minus 2 plus 1 minus 1 is again minus 1 square is 1, so this is what we get and that is square root of 2. So the shortest distance is square root 2, right? Distance equals to square root 2. So that is how you can actually solve this question. I hope that helps. We are almost at the end of this uh, list of videos. All the best to all of you. You can go through this list once again and practice some questions from your textbook. I hope that works for you. Thank you and all the best.